is there any way to use something else? Like sign inverse. Well, the equation in the center will give me cosine of the angle between two vectors. And sine inverse of cosine is very, very, very strange thing. It will not give me the angle. So I'll need to change the formula. What should be the formula? It gives me sine of the angle between two vectors. Probably haven't used it much. You remember the area of parallelogram? Isn't it the product of lengths of the sides times the sine of the angle between them? So the area on the two vectors, and the vectors are still f prime of t0 and f prime of t0 plus delta t. So you look at those two vectors, and what if you multiply this length times that length times the sine of this angle? Well, that times the sine is the height, isn't it? And the height times the base is the area. So that area divided by the magnitude of f prime of t0 and also magnitude of f prime of t0 plus delta t that's the sine and now we can take sine inverse to get the angle I mentioned that formula before but probably only once there was no essential reason to prefer this formula over the dot product formula until this moment. So this is a good moment to remember that you can use area and sine inverse. And what's the derivative of sine inverse? Is it better? Because I don't remember what it is. That's right. Is this plus? Yeah. Don't you think one plus is better than one minus? All right. 1 plus. So 1 plus because we use now sine inverse and instead of dot product, well the denominator is still the same, the numerator is the area instead of dot product. Well remember area is just another product and that means you can differentiate similarly. So now we have is it minus or plus? Plus. Okay. Then, 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 then. Okay. Then that can never spoil our substitution. The under the square root value is always positive. The and never zero. So we will we will be able to substitute. Uh, so how do we differentiate? Well, the chain rule applies, and right here we have to use the quotient rule. And the numerator is still a product, so we can apply the product rule. Now all we have to do is substitute the dot product with the area product. So I put area instead of dot product, multiplied by denominator minus the derivative of no, minus the denominator times. Oh, what was it? No, that's the dot product. So that should be area minus area. You see, I'm failing to recognize the dot myself, the difference between dot and the dot product. Uh, so that area times the derivative of the denominator. Be 
Uh, yes, it's virtual of the whole thing, but this is a constant. Right? There is no x there, so, so the derivative applies only to that magnitude. Okay. Now, what if I substitute x equals zero? Can I do it right now? Because if now delta t equals zero, then sine inverse is what? Sine inverse should be taken of the area divided by two magnitudes. And what is that? <coughs> Is it one? So what's the what's the fraction there? What's the area on f prime and f prime? F prime and f prime. It's zero. So that is zero. And sine inverse of zero is. Sine inverse of zero. What is the angle which has the sine of it equal to zero? What is that angle? Zero. zero. So zero. Well, that means that we still have the same problem. If you substitute delta t equals zero into the whole thing, you will get zero divided by zero. And replacing cosine with sine didn't resolve the substitution problem. We we'll have an indefinite fraction. Okay, so that is still in place. But can we substitute x equals zero and have something interesting here? What if I substitute x equals zero into this fraction? What's that going to be? We just did it, right? Area on two two vectors being the same is zero, so that is zero. So the whole thing is one over square root of one plus zero, which is one. And then, what do we have here? A big fraction. If you substitute x equals zero, I have area on f prime of t0 and f double prime of t0 times magnitude of f prime of t0 and magnitude of f prime of t0. So it is magnitude of f prime of t0 squared minus area of f prime of t0 and f prime of t0. What is that? That's zero. And I don't, don't have to evaluate that derivative because the whole thing is zero. So minus zero. Lucky out. And we divide by magnitude of f prime of t0, magnitude of f prime of t0. So the whole thing is magnitude of f prime of t0 to the power, what? Four. And the whole thing is area on f prime of t0, f double prime of t0, divided by magnitude of f prime of t0 squared. Does it remind you of something? It's exactly the same thing. 